Hi Paradise You, this is Suzanne and I'm here to do a Pilates class with you and today we're going to utilize a small pliable flexible ball. So if you want to be doing this class and you don't already have a ball, uh, place, some places you can find it is one of the dollar type stores any little type of ball that has a little bit of give to it and you can substitute that type of ball. All right, so we're gonna get started laying on our back. We're gonna put the ball between the inner thighs and have the knees bent. Heels are about two to three inches from your glutes. Place the ball between the inner thighs. Make sure your back's in neutral spine, the natural curve of your lower lumbar. Gently squeeze the ball. So not to death gripping, but squeeze it in. And then you'll probably need to walk your feet a little closer together to keep them in that parallel position. With that being said, you're gonna focus on the transverse abdominals. Uh, lifting the pelvic floor is a sensation you might think about, or you're on that long road trip and you need to use the facility, but we've got about 500 miles to drive. You're gonna gently hold it, 30% of max. So with that being said, you have a little uh, Pressure into the ball. Inhale, shrug the shoulders towards the ears. Exhale, push the shoulders down, staying in neutral, weights in the tailbone. Inhale, drag it up. Exhale, push it down. And again. Through the nose as you inhale, through pierced lips of the mouth as you exhale. Keeping the shoulders down, you're gonna take the lower back gently. In, inhale to stay, exhale, imprint into the mat, don't squeeze your butt. Go back to neutral. So you're rocking the whole pelvic forward, tilting the spine, and then back to neutral, hips parallel to the floor. And again, exhale, imprint, neutral, and imprint, neutral. We're gonna imprint, reach those arms back to just the jawline. Go back to neutral. Exhale, reach, imprint, neutral spine. Exhale, reach, imprint, pelvic floor is holding. Reach and imprint, and neutral. Good, leave the arms down by your side, imprint the lower back, hang on to those lower abdominals, and lift the legs up to tabletop. So tabletop is a 90 degrees at the hip, 90 degrees at the knee, flex those feet for me, squeeze that ball together, reach those arms back, give me a little head nod, and flex it up without moving the legs. Point the toes, reach back, squeeze the ball, tuck the chin, flex up. Flex the feet, reach back, tuck the chin, lift up. Point the toes, reach back, tuck the chin, flex up. Flex the feet, last time, reach back, tuck the chin, flex up. With that being said, you're going to reach back, point the toes, circle the arms, flex up, squeeze the ball, do it again, three more, tuck the chin, flex up, squeezing that ball, lower backs connected in the mat, one more time, hold, reverse the direction, inhale, lower it down, exhale, tuck the chin, flex up for four, squeeze that ball for me. And for three. One more time. And hold. Inhale. Bring those hands back behind the head, cupping the ears, release, flex the feet. Reach across the body, pushing that bottom elbow to the mat. Take it up, down, other side. Don't move your legs. Squeeze the ball a little tighter. Good, four more, please. Two more. And one. Center, grab your ball, and release. Extend and stretch. Couple breaths. Good, pull it on in, rock it side to side. We're gonna place that ball underneath the lower back in the next position. Good, so with that being said, go ahead and bridge on up, roll the ball. You're putting above the tailbone, gently imprint into the ball, hang on to your lower abdominals, and lift those legs up. Extending those legs to the ceiling, 
We're gonna go into uh, what's called the windmill. So we're gonna split those legs apart, come out to the side in a split. Other leg comes forward and bring it back together, reversing the direction. Split to the side, other leg forward and together. Okay, you're on your own, make it a little more fluid. Inhale, circle around. Good, four more. Checking in with those lower abdominals. Lifting the pelvic floor. Long road trip last time. Good, from there, bend up the um, knee joint. Good, from there, you're going to keep the imprint, tap the right toe towards the floor. Notice my foot doesn't come towards the butt. Coming back up, then the left. Good, alternating. Option two, one arm can come up off the floor or both. Balancing. Good, shoulders are down. Check in with those lower abdominals, pelvic floor. Four and three and two and one. Good, from there, rest those arms, flex the feet, glue the inner thighs together, and then pull the knees apart. You're gonna extend the legs out, point, flex in. Point, press, flex in. So those knees, point, and flex. Good, point, press, out, flex, knees coming apart there. Four, flex, in, three, flex, good, two, flex, one, flex, good, back to 90 degrees. From there, extending the leg out, the right leg out, we're going to press it out and pull it in. Point the toes for me, press it out, optional, left arm, reaching back. Pull it on in. And again. Pelvic floor, pull it in. Four. Three. Keep that lower back connected in the ball. And one. Left side, just the leg to start. Good, find the balance. Add in that right arm if you want. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Pelvic floor, check in. Two more, please. One more time. Pull it in, inhale, and release. Now bring your feet together, let the knees go wide, and lengthen and stretch here. If that feels okay for your lower back. If not, you can remove the ball all together, do the same stretch just on the floor. We're gonna turn onto our side and go into spinal rotation, placing the ball between the inner thighs. So you're gonna have your knees and ankles to the front edge of your mat, and the hips and shoulder back edge, 90 degrees under the knees, 90 degrees under the hip, tucking the bottom shoulder underneath. Good, squeeze those abdominals, squeeze the ball, follow the hand with the eyes, lift to the ceiling, gently rotate, dropping the head to the floor, you can see the hand with both eyes, lift back up, bring it on in. And again. Good, really squeeze the ball. Single breath, reach back. Inhale, exhale, pull it in. And again. Double breath, lift to the ceiling. Rotate it. Stay there, inhale. Stay and exhale. Lift it up. Bring it in. Do it again, please. And rotate, stay there, throw it out, lift it up, and bring it in. Good, remove the ball, and you're gonna place it underneath the hand, uh, splitting the legs, staggering the legs. We're gonna do a side bend, so option one would be no ball, option two, you're gonna roll the ball in and out. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, take it out to the side. Inhale, pressing in that bottom arm. Exhale, lengthen. Good, and again. Remember, 
Remember, you're thinking of dual pane windows that your body's in. Two more. One more time, please. And in. Nice job. We're going to do the spinal rotation on the other side. So, you can either face the opposite wall or bring your head to the other side of the mat. Remember that 90 degree angle that you are at, pressing the ball in between the inner thighs, extending those arms forward, and you're going to stack those hips, squeeze the ball, lift up through the ceiling, follow the hand with the eyes, lift it back up, and bring it on home. And again. Rotation, lengthen, drop the head, lift it back up. Squeeze those inner thighs, don't let the lower body move. Inhale, single breath, reach back. Exhale, reach in. Do it again. Rebuilding the head, slowing it down for double breath, lift to the ceiling. Gently rotate, stay in rotation. Blow it out, lift it up. Bring it on home. One more time like that, please. Really lengthen through the fingertips. Stay there, take the breath. Blow it out, pelvic floor is pulled in, lift, and up. Good, that ball is gonna go into the hand for that side bend. And from here, you're lengthening up through the ceiling, rolling it out. Inhale, pull it in. Rolling it out. And pull it in. Good. And again. Pressing in that bottom arm. Two more. Last time, please. And in. Good. Turning yourself um, to the side. We're going to have a little more mat behind us. Put the ball between the inner thighs. Find the little sits bones, those are the bony parts of your bum. From there, you're going to either hang on, option two is not to hang on. You're going to scoop the pelvic underneath, slightly roll behind the sits bones. Keep the integrity of the spine there. Inhale, rock forward, weights on the sits bones. Exhale, behind. So you're not going back too far. And behind. Good, forward. And behind. Squeeze that ball, don't forget. Double pulse behind here. Good. Two more. One more time. Good. Bring it forward. Remove the ball. Place the ball between your chest and the legs. Okay. So here, we're going to option one is to come up. You can hang on, rock slightly behind the lower um, to sit bones and back up, or you're going to not deck grip and roll like a ball to the upper back and forward without losing your ball. So it's there as a tool. So a little pressure into the ball, inhale back, exhale forward. Good. Nice smooth roll. Two more back here. One more, please. Good, remove that ball and roll all the way down. Lengthen for a stretch. Ooh. Pull it on in and rock side to side. Okay, we're gonna take that ball, put both feet on the ball so you want that ball to stay very close to your glutes. We're gonna bridge on up with that ball, the feet on the ball, take it on down. Do it again. Now, if you don't like your feet on the ball, if it's too much for you, you can place your feet on the floor, put the ball between the inner thighs. We're going to bridge, keeping the spine in neutral. Good, a couple more like that. Then we're gonna go on a different option. One more time. Good, drop it down. So here's option one. Your right foot's gonna stay on the floor. Left foot's gonna go on the ball. Now we're gonna be up here and then we're gonna be lifting the right leg. Okay, so if you know you don't like that, don't use the ball at all. But if not, 
keep that ball close to your glutes. So I sometimes have to like to hold my leg. I've got my bridge, I'm bracing, okay? And then you're going to lift shh, and touch down. Shh. So you have an isomer to pull down the shh, single leg, bridge, shh. Two more, we'll do six on each leg. Shh. One more time. Shh. Good. Release. Ooh, switch legs. Other side, pull it right into your glute or your foot's on the floor. Come up onto your bridge and brace. Here we go with that other leg. Pull it up. Shh. Balance. Shh. And breathe. Shh. Shh. Pelvic floor, pull it in. Two more. Shh. One more time. Shh. Good. And release down. Good. From there, take that, um, those legs closer to your shoulders. Kind of rock side to side. Get a little stretch going there. Ooh. All right, we're gonna go into our side. So we're gonna place the ball between the inner thighs and go into side leg series. Remember, you can get some water anytime along the way. So put the ball somewhere that you can keep it in between the inner thighs, dual pane windows, one in front of your body, one behind, pull from underneath yourself. Squeeze that ball, lift the legs. Remember, your hip is stacked one on top of the other. Shh. Shh. Good. Shh. Four more there. Shh. The hand can rest gently in front or on the legs. Shh. Good. Adding that bottom arm, lift. Shh. Lift the ball, the legs and the ball. Shh. Shh. Remember that top hip right above the bottom. Shh. Four more. Shh. One more time. Just the legs, double pulse right here. Good. Squeeze that ball. Four more. Good. Add the bottom arm, double pulse. Nice. Four more there. Hold it up here and hold. Take the hand away, balance. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and release. Just gently put that ball right behind you. Pull those inner thighs together. We're gonna point it up, flex, down, point, Lift, heart flex, down. Point, lift, flex, down. Point, lift, flex, down. Point, lift, double pulse, 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 flex, down. Point, pulse, pulse, flex, down. Point, pulse, pulse, flex, down. One more, pulse, pulse, flex, down. Point up, halfway, hold. Do not move the top leg, bottom leg, go up to it. Good, four more. Shh. 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 Top leg lifts a little higher. Good, large circle. Forward and around. Shh. Not moving the upper body at all. Shh. Two hips are squared. Shh. One. Now, eight fast baseballs forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, tap forward, up again, just forward, one more time, and hold. Good, large circle back, and through, shh, three, pelvic floor, check in, shh, two, shh, one. Good, up top, hold, baseballs back, eight, seven, just from the hip movement, strong leg, four, three, two, tap behind, Touch, touch, up, touch, touch, up, touch, touch, up. One more, touch, touch, hold strong, press up. Eight, seven, six, little pulse, four, three, two, one, and release. Woo, stretch it out. Nice job. 
Good, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so starting with the ball, between those legs. You can either face the opposite wall or come to the other side. Glue those inner thighs together, dual pane windows, one in front, one in back, hips are stacked. Laying it on down, pull from underneath yourself, lift that ball. Shh. Shh. Good. Shh. Shh. Four more. Shh. Point the toes, squeeze your quads. Shh. 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 Double pulse. Shh. 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 Good. Shh. 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 Four more there. Shh. Add the bottom arm right there. Shh, 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 shh. Four here. Shh, 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 shh. Hold on this one. Shh, and hold. Reach it out. Inhale. Balance. Exhale. Shh. One more breath. And release. Good. Drop that ball just behind you. From there, point it up, flex, down, hard, flex, shh, strong, point, shh, parallel leg, pelvic floor, pull it in, check in with it, four, shh, three, good, shh, two, shh, one, point up, hold, halfway, bottom leg goes seated, shh, 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 nice, shh, Four and three and two and one. Top leg comes up a little higher. Large circle forward and around. Shh. Pelvic floor, don't move your hips. Shh. Shh. One more time. Up on the top of that lift, baseballs forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Double tap front. Hold again. Again, two more. Last time. And hold. Large circle back. Watch the hip and through. Shh. Three. Check in with the pelvic floor. Two. Long road trip. One. Good. Squeeze the quad. Point the toe. And little baseballs back. Eight, seven, six. Oh, it feels so good. Four, three, two, one. Good. Tap behind. Up. Up, two more. Up and hold. Strong leg, press up. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Hold and release. Woo! Good stuff. Woo! -hoo. All right. Going back to that ball, we're going to start with it in the hands. You're going to come onto your back, imprint the lower back. Place those legs up at a tabletop position, being mindful of the lower abdominals. Don't move your legs, glue those inner thighs together. Ball's gonna be in the hand. We're reaching it back, tucking the chin, flexing it up, placing the ball on the legs. Don't lose your ball. Reach back, tuck the chin, flex up, get the ball. So your goal is to not lose your ball. All right. Good. Watch the lower back. Shh. Does not come off the floor. Shh. One more like that. Shh. Changing the arms. We're going to place the ball up. Reach back. Circle. Flex up. Grab the ball. Reach it back. Place the ball. Circle. Down. Reverse it. Go get the ball. Shh. Good. Reach back, circle around, grab your ball. Shh. Good, circle down. Shh. Go get the ball. Shh. Now, from here, I want you to hold. We're going to flex up and then press back, extend the legs. Double leg stretch. Flex in and extend. Okay, so there's your variation. Now, we're going to begin to transfer the ball between the legs. So put it in between the legs, press out, drop the head, flex up, grab the ball, 
press the legs out. So the next option would be to stay up in flexion. This will be harder. Grab the ball, extend out. So you don't have to keep the head up. But you have to keep the lower back on the mat. Pelvic floor pulled in. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Pull it in. Inhale. And release. Lengthen and stretch. Woo! Good. You can roll those ankles around too. Good. And then when you're ready, bring it in. Kind of rock side to side for the lower back. Or circle those legs around. Good. And go the other way. All right, we're gonna go into the 100 next. We're gonna put the ball between the inner thighs, either below the knees or higher above the knees. We're gonna move the legs a little bit, okay? So you're gonna imprint the pelvic floor. Put the ball either above or below the knees. Point the toes. Head and shoulders can stay down. Option one on the legs here. Extending the ceiling or in a diagonal. So we're gonna pull them in and then out to your position. For the first 50, the second 50, we're going to hold it in the position of your desire and um, just breathe. Okay, so head and shoulders can stay down if you're coming up, flex up. Good, start in that 90 degrees and begin to pulse the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, extend the legs, two, three, four, five. Slowly pull them in, two, three, four, five, exhale out. In and out. In, two, three, four, five, out. In, two, three, four, five, out. And this time we're going to hold it out. And hold. Inhale, the nose, three, four, five, and out. Squeeze the ball. Inhale, two, three, four, five, out. In, good, and out. Pelvic floor, inhale, two, three, four, five, out. Last set, three, four, five, out. Inhale, pull it in, and release. Remove that ball, lengthen and stretch. Woo! Nice work. Couple breaths. Good, pull it on in. Okay, we're gonna come onto our stomachs. Place the ball between the inner thighs. We're going to go into breaststroke, squeezing the ball, point the toes. All right, so with the breaststroke, you're gonna reach along by squeezing the glutes, pelvic floor, pull it in, lengthen in the opposite direction, rotate the palms, Extend up with the spine, don't lift the neck. All right, so we're gonna do a set of eight here. So, um, in your position, squeeze the ball, pull those abdominals in, inhale, lengthen, reach fingertips and toes, opposite direction. Exhale, rotate, extend. Layer it down, reach, and extend. Squeeze the back, reach, and extend. Inhale. Next four, we're gonna pulse on the extension right here. Pulse, shh, shh, pelvic floor, shh, shh, squeeze that ball, shh, shh, last one, and hold, shh, stay, and release. Hands on the shoulders, push back, stretch, and use the ball, place the hands underneath, or on top, excuse me. Good. When you're ready, you're gonna rebuild. Nice job. We're gonna come back onto your back and finish with two exercises in this position. We're gonna start with placing the ball to the side, going into single leg stretch, and then we're gonna finish with scissors using the ball. All right, so imprint the lower back. Pelvic floor is pulled in, tabletop legs. I'll work through the positions and you can start the one you want. 
You're gonna inside, or you're gonna extend the legs, inhale, then exhale. Add inside knee, outside shin for coordination. Add flexion of the spine. Pelvic floor. Long road chip. Three. Two. One. Tabletop legs, good. Drop the head and shoulders, grab the ball, extend the legs up. Place the ball through the legs. And good. Add a flexion if you want to make it harder. Strong legs squeeze the quad. Thank you too. to you, roll the ankle, and go the other way. Here you'll extend it up to the ceiling to get the hamstring. If you have a towel, you can always place the towel around the arch of the foot, or a strap of your band can work as well, of your mat, excuse me. So whatever works here, or you're just extending that leg up. Bend at the knee in front of me and then pull across. The body looking in the opposite direction over that shoulder. Big breath, blow it out and just sink into the mat and that stretch. Just letting yourself just melt into your mat, if you will. Good, back to the center. Gonna cross over for the glute to stretch. Open up that hip. First, I want you to push the hip away or the knee away below the knee. Just open it up. Good. Then kind of release that and pull towards your body, lifting those feet, pushing the tailbone back to a neutral spine. Lift that bottom leg, the space will go away. Release the top leg, fold in that left knee, roll the ankle. Go the other way. And then extend it up for the hamstring. Again, if you have something to put around the arch of the foot, you can. Extend a little deeper. Good, release it, bend that knee, pull it across the body, look over the opposite shoulder. Nice big inhale. Let yourself just sink into the stretch. Below the knee, kind of open up the hip a little deeper. And then pull it in towards you, pushing your tailbone to the floor. Breathing. Extending the bottom leg up, space will go away.
Good. Uncross and take those legs in a circle around. Massaging that lower back into the mat. Go the other way. Releasing your hips. And then gently a little side to side there. We're going to come to a seated position when you're ready. Either rock yourself up or bring your body right to the side. Good. Sit here and roll the shoulders. Good. And roll a little forward. Nice. And drive that right arm up. Pushing back in the right glute and fold over to the side. Inhale, stay. Exhale, if you like, add a little directional. Back to the side and alternate for three. Go back for two. And left arm up, pushing the left glute forward. Inhale, drop it forward slightly. Back to the side. Rebuild, release the arms slightly behind you. Drop the head to the front, let it just hang. Roll through to the right shoulder. And through the center to the left. Slaying the weight of your neck, or your head, excuse me. Stretch the neck. Good. Find your head over on that right side for me. And hold it. Sit up nice and tall. Draw the left hand back and then take the palm up. Keeping that arm low. Release. Let the head roll through the center to the left shoulder. Hold. Again, sitting tall. Draw the right arm back. Low to the ground. Rotate. Palm up. Good. Release. Head fall to the center. Let it hang for a moment. Inhale. Exhale. Rebuild the head. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Out. Inhale. Reach. And pull it on in. Thank you for joining me today. It was a great class. We'll see you next time.